Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Software Sunday. This is going to be a series where I will be going over some different kinds of software that you might be able to use from a day-to-day -day basis, such as from maintaining your system all the way to organizing your music files, especially if you have a lot of music, like I do, because I've got roughly close to 5,000 songs sitting on my main server. So anyway, um, this is going to be a software thorough review going over a software called Music Brains Picard. And as I mentioned about organizing your music library, well, this software will actually do that automatically. And it'll even fix all the tagging, analyze the uh, sound waves of the songs to actually get the information needed if it's not there. So anyway, let's go ahead and hop on over to the main website. Alright, so here we are at the main website, which is picard.musicbrains.org. So let's go ahead and click on download, which it'll have Windows, it seems already got downloaded. Now, if you're using Mac, they're covered. If you're using Linux, you're covered. And if you're wanting the source code, it's covered. So let's go ahead. Alright, so here we are with the main user interface. So the first thing we want to do is go through the different options that they have. Let me go ahead and expand this. So here's where you will use the musicbrands.org as the server address for 80. Account information is optional here. As for metadata, you get preferred releases, which you can have a balance for. Economy tags, don't know what that is. You can do the enable track ratings. They can do the tags, write tags to files, preserve and all that, and you can go between ID3 version 2 or something like that. Cover art, you can go ahead and go through all this and you can get it from Amazon, which is one of the main checks. You're basically going through. Now, here is where I have my settings. So, when you are renaming everything, you want to have all these checked. Now, if you want to move everything to the directory, directory while saving, so just click on Browse, go to the drive you want. For this, it will be going to the sorted, which I want to make sure I have set when I go to save the music. And delete any of the empty directories, I would recommend to keep clutter down. And then I have artist, date, album, artist, and title, which is something I would recommend using. You just gotta click on it, type it, all you need in. The fingerprinting, which is through Acoustic ID, this is where you will get the names for the songs that are not currently present. As for CD lookup, uh, that's all up to you. They have a different variety of plugins, including replay gain, less.fm, so on and so forth. Going into advanced, you got network, leave that blank, matching, you can set minimal for file lookup 70, cluster lookups 80, matching values to tracks 40. Then for scripting, this is what I have said. It was actually on a tutorial on how to do this. Then user interface. You can basically leave all that, but um, yeah. You want to make sure you have the mat the uh, scripting set, the file naming, all these checked in, and the fingerprinting. I would recommend using. That is a hands down useful feature, as you will see here shortly. So let's go ahead and add folder. Go back, go to unsorted, select folder, and it's going to do this automatically. A lot of the times I tell it not to, but you can tell down here is where you got the amount of tracks, albums, the pending files, then the pending requests. So it looks like everything was found perfectly here. So go ahead and do that and click on save. Because if, if you remember, there are no file names whatsoever. And let's go ahead and click on refresh. Make sure everything is all good. So it looks like we got a couple of different albums. So let's go ahead and info. Refresh. So, you got to do this a couple of times, so you can get the needed. So, let's go ahead and, I mean, you got to do this a couple of times, obviously. So, 
so everything's all good so let's go ahead and go into the folder that they are in so I can show you that it actually worked just gotta go into the right folder here his birth card sorted and there we go it shows all the music that's needed and organized pretty neatly you got the electric light orchestra you got the different songs so in this is pretty customizable, so if you want to skip the years, you can probably take that out from the uh, scripting from the tagging and all. But anyway, this is a rough overview of the software called Music Brains Picard. And this is a software I highly recommend. So if you have any questions about the software, feel free to drop a comment and I'll be more than happy to give you guys a hand. Again, I highly recommend this software for those people that are music freaks and want to have their music set the way they want to so in case it's recommended to have so anyway don't forget to like the video if you liked it dislike it if you dislike the video and don't forget to subscribe for future videos so anyway I just wanted to wish you guys a happy night and a good Sunday adios